Hi and welcome to the side, side show. show. What have you here, James? Last week you got me the most amazing coffee, so I wanted to say thank you for thank you. giving me coffee. Thank, thank you. Oh no, thank no, you. Th Let's no, not do no, that again. No, no, no. Okay, nice. So what we got here? Got the sauces. Yes. We got, got a fork. Okay. No, keep going. Keep yeah, going. Yeah, there yeah, has yeah, to yeah. be. Yeah. More sauces and uh, napkins and. Oh. oh no. I forgot the most important part. Where's the sandwich? It's all right, it's okay. I mean, I wasn't that hungry anyway. And, and you've got me all these beautiful, amazing sauces. What's that? Polynesian sauce and sweet and spicy sriracha. Ooh, and that does some lovely funny. napkins and no. fork there. And it's, a, it's a great bag, that. Yeah, thank yeah. you. No. I, I am thankful. But I didn't get you the most important part, the sandwich. Mm, yeah, I guess. But that is a bit like our story today from Luke chapter 10, verse 38. We're gonna read this straight from the Bible. Real short story, and it's about two ladies called Mary and Martha, and Jesus was coming to the house. While Jesus and his followers were traveling, Jesus went into a town. A woman named Martha let Jesus stay at her house. Martha and her sister Mary, Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet and listening to him teach. Martha became angry because she had so much work to do. She went in and said, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me alone to do all the work? Tell her to help me. Listen to what Jesus says. The Lord answered, Martha, Martha, you are getting worried and upset about too many things. Only one thing is important. Mary has chosen the right thing and it will never be taken away from her. So Martha got distracted by doing all the busy things like cooking, making sure the house is ready, hosting. She just completely forgot the important thing of hanging out with Jesus. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Catherine. Martha did not put Jesus number one. That, she, he wasn't her priority right at that moment. No, Jesus wants us to make him the number, number one. one. Number one priority. Yeah. He says so in his word. Actually also says in Matthew chapter 6, 33. The thing that you should want most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Then all these other things you need will be given to you. That's right. So how can we get distracted? There are different things in our lives that distract us from putting Jesus number one in our lives. Mm -hmm. Let me go and get a few props here. So we also are a bit like Martha at times. We get so distracted by all the busyness of life that we don't put Jesus number one. Yeah. So like sports, sometimes we can get so busy with doing sports, we forget to put Jesus number one in our lives. What else? do we fill our lives with? Oh, definitely. I mean, you have the bicycles, sometimes fun. Oh, we can get distracted. Oh. <gasps> Ice skating. Ooh. Ooh. Hit, hit, uh, something's coming at Bayside. Too much screen time. Oh, I've just been waiting time. for a chance to get my mini TV out again. Sometimes we can spend too much time watching TV or playing video games. That, that distracts us from spending time with Jesus, or it might be like playing games, yeah. building Legos. Our lives are full, aren't they? Yes, and it's not like these things of themselves are bad. No. It's just, it can't take the place of the most important thing, the number one thing. Putting Jesus number one in our lives. So let's clear this table again, okay. and then let's help our viewers get some ideas about how they can put Jesus number one in their lives. Okay, how can we put Jesus number one in our lives? That's well, right. other than like going to church, praying, worshiping, 
reading our Bible. That's right. And we have loads of resources we want to recommend to help you read your Bible. There's so many. These are the Bible story books, another devotional book. Okay, hey, look, no, let's talk about them. So yeah. we've got I Will Follow Jesus. This is my fav one of my favorite devotion books for kids. Yes, here's a I Am, the Names of God. So the devotional, mm -hmm. as you reflect and think about who God is. This is Jesus, Jesus calling. calling. There's an adult version of this too. Yep. These are a couple of my favorites. So this is from Kids Read Truth, and it goes through one book at a time, so the whole family could do it. And it's so fun. There's different things that you can see oh, my so kids follow. Oh, so you've even filled yeah. it out. That's cool. Yes. And then there's the adventure journals, where there's here's an advent one, and here's a regular one. And it's just something you fill out every day to think about okay. God. Adventure journal. Mm -hmm. This is a devotional Bible. Ooh, so yep. every day, it goes through Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday, where you can read a little bit of devotional and the Bible. Okay. Here's an I will thank you journal also mm -hmm. that kids can fill out. So many. Be a brave beauty, because I have Be three brave girls. Beauty. So we want to make sure that girls know who hey, they work are. for the boys, too. Jeez, it, yes. And we have oh, Indescribable. Oh, this is so yeah. fun. Our boys love that. Yes. That's Louis Giglio. Yes. He, and that's very science-based kind is. of devotion, it isn't is. it? It is. And, of course, our special guest who was here last weekend. Yep. Love or does. Or two, two weekends ago. Love oh, does. Bob Goff. Bob Goff. Okay. Bob Goff. So, parents, take a look. Research yourself. What we would love for you to do is take some time each day and do what Mary did, sit at the feet of Jesus. Take some time to prioritize spending time with Him. That's right. Even in the busyness of life, this is the most important thing that you can do. And it keeps spend time us, with God. that's right, and it keeps us thankful. When mm. we prioritize and put God first, okay. we are grateful. So let's talk about that at home. Talk time. How can we show we are grateful for who Jesus is? How can we make him the most important person in our lives? Okay, let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you are worth giving our whole lives to. Help us to put you as number one in our lives. We thank you for your word. We thank you for church. We thank you for the sideshow. We thank you for our parents. We thank you. There are so many ways that we can spend time with you. Help us to make you number one and be grateful for who you are. Amen. Amen. Okay, now it's the time you've all been waiting for. Challenge time. We're going to play a new game. It is called Number One Stacker. Number one. You know, I've actually been wondering, uh, who has won the most challenges out of you and I? I think we actually need to do some research, Is go that back even? and count that. I don't know it's, who's number it's, one. It's so easy, James. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to win this challenge, obviously, because this is all about skill and balance and uh, stacking. Okay. So, Here we go. So we each have 15 cups. We have to stack these into a pyramid and then unstack them and put them in a pile again. The person that finishes, gets back to there, wins. But you can only use one hand, okay? So let me, let me move this out of the way. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Stack your pyramids, and it's a race. Ready, here we go, and I'm gonna win. Three, two, one, go. No, no, I'm a cup down. I'm a two cups down. That's not good. Oh no, I have to move the one. Oh my, you cannot steal. That's cheating, James Hamilton. That's what happens when you cheat. No. See? <laughs> ah, here we go. Are you serious? As usual. Are you serious? <laughs> One on hand stacker. Did you stack a whole pyramid? I did. You did? Did One she? One hand stacker. Ethan, did she do that prop? Just keep Can't going. Are you kidding me? It's so fun. It's so fun. Ah! Thanks for watching the sideshow. And um, always be thankful. And by the way, I am really, really 
hungry now, so I'm just gonna start eating the sauce. Catherine's number Ooh, one. Buffalo sauce. Catherine number one. Go. Oh. You, you need the sandwich, that's how it, it tastes better. Yeah, it's cool.